I guess we're going to see you in four years <laughs> at Mama June's restaurant. <laughs> Might need a larger venue. Uh, thank you very much. So uh, let's move on to uh, uh, Jim. Thank you very much. My name is Jim Parker, and I'm running for City Council at large position. And I've lived in Valdosta now for over 16 years. And another year, it'll be longer than the, to my hometown of Detroit that I lived there, because I left Detroit when I was 17. And I've moved around a lot in my adult life, but it, uh, we moved here because my daughter was here with her husband and started raising our grandchildren. We wanted to be close to them. And just recently, my uh, granddaughter has graduated from Lowndes High and is now uh, attending the University of Oregon. And <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a move. <laughs> My wife is from Boston. We spent seven years there where I was a computer programmer. And uh, a few years back, her family moved to Fresno, California. <laughs> so everybody moved out to the West Coast and, because um, my in-law's uh, son was, was a professor at Fresno State. Uh, but my um, son-in-law recently also decided to pick up and move to Eugene, Oregon, so he'd be close to his daughter. Uh, but she's a duck, I'm a, an alumni of Michigan State, and we just beat him this past weekend. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, wrote, uh, I wrote her on Facebook, I said, love you, dear, love you dearly, girl, uh, but go Spartans. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm running for city council, and I uh, there's three things I, I'm really interested in. One is, transparency uh, in the government and letting the citizens of the city know what the city's doing. Now, they do do a lot, you know, you get the, 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 the pamphlet in the, uh, in, with your water bill and, and whatnot, but I just really think more can be done. One way we can do more is videotape the proceedings Put them up on the web for people to see. I think we can broadcast them on Metro 17. People can BBR and watch them at their convenience. So they know what is going on the city council and what we're talking about. Also, I think the city council could get out through the year into the districts and have town hall meetings so the citizens can come out and express themselves. You know, and I think this would really go a long way to bringing the citizens and the government together as one. Secondly, public transportation. We definitely need it, and we should do all we can to, to accomplish this. Others have spoken about it, so I won't dwell on it. The third thing, though, is the main thing. Strong neighborhoods make a strong city. And let's do everything we can to strengthen our neighborhoods. Ways we can do this? How about sidewalks? I live on Lee Street. There's no sidewalk in front of my house. People are walking up and down that street all day long, all different ages. <laughs> and it's just not safe. We need to have sidewalks so people can get around. I believe in bicycle lanes also. That's a form of transportation. If we're going to talk about transportation, let's talk about walking, let's talk about biking, then we talk about public transportation. Because in the last 50 years, we have this experiment going on where cities have become car-centric, auto-centric. We are no longer people-centric. We're more interested on a city level in moving cars through our city than enabling really thinking about our citizens getting around, which is what really matters. Thirdly, I believe in community gardens. They can go a long way to, in, to beautifying a neighborhood, making people have, getting people to have more pride. There have been actually studies done that show community gardens have positive effects on the neighborhoods. I've spent the last couple of years trying to get into the city, uh, uh, understand cities and how and what goes on. Two years ago, I, over two years ago now, I took the government 101 class where we go around, visit all the departments, and get a, a feel for how government operates, how the city operates. I was pleasant, I was really impressed with the quality of the people we have 
in our uh, in our city that, that that make this city go. And and the truth is, if the city is doing its job, you will hardly notice it. <laughs> if it's really running well, you don't notice it because you just flow along really nicely. <laughs> but one part of infrastructure that is really needed here now. I'm a technical person. I have been a programmer, I've had an MC, a Microsoft certified systems engineer, I was a Cisco certified network associate. I turned that skills into residential. I'm a home technology integrator. I spent some years at that. We need high speed internet, real high speed internet for Valdosta. Companies, this is a primary requirement for companies to come to Valdosta. Give them some high speed internet. I mean, real high speed, and it's not 10, 10 or 15 megabytes. You know, we got to talk 50 to 100. <laughs> you know, uh, that's what we need. And if AT&T and Mediacom don't want to give it to us, we can do it ourselves. That's right. And then we really need that. So that's a piece of infrastructure we've got to have. My name is Jim Parker. I'm running the city council, the at-large position. Please vote for me.